Only God is Great, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a night light on for that night lies out of Romans 14 and verse 8. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. I came across the illustration uh, last week while I was studying for a sermon on Revelation 11 through 14, and it's about a, a king of uh, France. His, in the grand halls of history, few moments are as poignant as the funeral of King Louis the Sixteenth of uh, France, known as Louis the Great, or the Sun King. Uh, he reigned for 72 years, the longest of any monarch of a major country. In European history, his reign was marked by the expansion of the French influence and establishment of a centralized state. He passed away in 1715. His funeral was a grand affair befitting a king who had lived in such splendor. His body was laid in a golden coffin surrounded by opulence that, that had characterized his reign. The cathedral was filled with mourners and the atmosphere was heavy with the weight of his legacy. At the funeral service, reached, as the funeral service reached its climax, the Bishop of Meaux, uh, Jean Baptiste Massillon, stood before the congregation in a dramatic gesture. He snuffed out the candle that had been burning beside the coffin and declared, God alone is great. This powerful statement served as a humbling reminder that no matter how grand or influential a person may be, only God holds true greatness. The story of this king reminds us the transient nature of earth, earthly power and glory. Despite his immense influence and grandeur of his reign, his life, like all human lives, came to an end. And the bishop's declaration, God alone is great, echoes the biblical truth that our lives are ultimately in God's hands. As we reflect on this story, let us remember that our true worth and greatness comes not from our achievements or status, but from our relationship with God. Whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord, and it's His greatness that we should seek to honor in our lives. May we live each day with the humility and reverence that acknowledging God's supreme greatness, trusting His eternal power and love. Mighty Father God, I thank you for this day. I pray that you'd be with these under the sound of my voice. Allow them to have a night of rest and peace to help us to remember that we are but creatures in your creation. Thank you for using us in, in whatever ways we can be used in your kingdom and help us not to think too much of ourselves, but to think very much of you. We thank you for all that you've done. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.